I'm joined with Rebecca Hunter from Form Energy Metals here at the Red Cloud Mining Conference 2024. Rebecca, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, yeah. So there's some pretty big news uh, today in uh, the uranium world. Amazon announced that they're going to be exploring SMRs with Dominion Energy. Follow similar transactions from Google and Microsoft as well. Do you think that we have turned the corner in terms of nuclear sentiment? Yeah, I think the tech industry and uh, AI, all that, you know, I think the Western world is really starting to wake up that we need a lot more power and we need, you know, baseload good um, power. And so, so I think that's what's happening now. And so the markets are going to show that. But so you've kind of been working in the space for, I imagine, many years. And I, I'm sure that just when you watch media, you, you've kind of picked up on how that conversation's really changed, especially over the last, say, three or four years. Yeah, I mean, I think nuclear is just getting, people just are accepting it more. And they recognize that it's safe, it's clean. It's kind of where we need to go um, if we really want to reach our climate goals, we want to reach our energy goals, because the people with the countries that have energy security are going to be way uh, more successful than ones that don't. So your background is uh, in geology and uh, so something uh, Jordan, uh, the editor of our site, was talking about uh, the other day to me was that just that when we think about uranium, so much of like Saskatchewan could basically supply the entire world with uranium if it really wanted to. Now, I look at uranium and I think, I look at the size of what NextGen has or Fission and I think, you know, if a couple of these projects come online, that's going to have a major impact on the overall supply and demand uh, just uh, of, of, of uranium. How challenging is it to find these types of projects? How many are out there in your opinion? Um, well, I mean, they are challenging to find. So, I mean, a lot of these deposits are fairly small, um, and and so it does take some targeted knowledge, targeted drilling to find them. Um, and yeah, the Athabasca is well endowed with good projects, um, but there's a lot. Well, there was one. There's a lot more to find, um, and there's a lot more need. If we're going to really go ahead and, and get a lot more reactors, power the world um, <clears throat> with all this new technology. We need a lot more, like next gens and the ones that are kind of in the pipeline potentially aren't going to be enough. So let's talk about Form Energy. What's the high level overview of the company for our audience who's unfamiliar with the story? So we're basically searching for unconformity type uranium deposits. So we have a strong portfolio in the Athabasca Basin, but our main flagship project now is in the Thelon Basin, which we think is just one of these underexplored regions of the world that's in the West, um, in a stable jurisdiction that really needs our attention. And so we're focusing a lot there, and we think that the next big deposits, the next Arrows, Cigars, MacArthur's, the big multi-tonnage um, deposits are going to be there. And so that's where we think we should be focusing. How, how challenging or expensive is it to do exploration there? Because I assume that there's not really any infrastructure. No, there's no roads. Um, and so it is more expensive, but it, because we have to use helicopters and, and there's, um, yeah, so there's a bit of challenge there, but the potential is really high. And so, and doing it at scale. So what we're trying to do when we explore there is actually explore at scale. So with multi-drills, um, get testing multiple targets. So you can't just think of it as the money per meter. It's also the money per target. So, and in the case of our stuff, a lot of the stuff that we're looking for is quite shallow. So under a lot of my holes, the, the average grade this summer is about 250 meters. You can test a lot of targets. And so the cost per target actually is lower than the Athabasca. Okay, um, so what's the exploration program look like right now for Forum Energy? So we just finished, we just wrapped up a four month drilling program. And so I just got back a couple weeks ago. So just... Where, where did, did you spend your summer at the camp? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, so I spent many weeks there. So yeah, but anyways, we're just waiting for results now. So we drilled almost 7,000 meters. We got 30 targets tested. Um, we got some really great results that should be coming out. We're just waiting on assays. The labs are really slow right now, unfortunately. Okay, so um, uh, if there's people in our audience that find the story interesting, 
What should they be looking out for over the next year? I assume drill results. Yeah, so in the next few months, we'll be getting, we'll have press releases showcasing our results. Um, we'll be doing lots of these conferences and videos. Be doing, I, I haven't done a lot of videos for the last four months just because I've been busy in the field and I've been looking at the rocks and trying to pick the targets and trying to get some results. So now we'll be showcasing that. All right, well, Rebecca, thanks very much for hopping on here. Uranium's always a hit with our audience, and I think you guys are one of the more interesting names, certainly elephant hunting out there in uh, the Thelon Basin, and we appreciate you taking the time to do this. All right, thanks a lot.